Okay, so what you can see here is the um, beginnings of our um, compost heating system. So basically over on the um, left here is the uh, container that I'm planning on heating with this system. And what I've built this afternoon is a, um, a coil, a, a uh, compost uh, or heat exchange coil. So I've used a uh, three quarter inch uh, medium density poly pipe or green line as better known here in Australia. And I've wrapped that around some um, builder's rio that I've built, builder's reinforcing mesh, which you can see in here, which I've formed into um, uh, a loop and I've sort of bent in it on itself to hold it together. A couple of cable ties held it in place whilst I bent the metal and I've wrapped the green line uh, around that in a spiral pattern. Now I've tried to maintain um, as much as possible oops, I've tried to maintain as much as possible a, um, an upward spiral because I'm hoping that this will actually flow via thermosiphon but I'm not 100% certain if that's going to work or that it will need to be pumped. I have managed to squeeze on um, uh, 100, just, just a touch over 100 metres of 3 quarter inch poly. And what will happen now is we will actually put that in place and that will then be um, covered in compost. So it's, a, it's approximately 5 feet tall. Um, it's sort of hard to, to judge on camera, I, can, I know, but it's about 5 feet tall. And to be put in place, we will um, throw mulch and uh, compost material down the centre and fill it right up, and then we'll build the, the compost around on the outside. So it's, a, it's 80 centimetres in diameter, so I'm aiming for a compost heap that is at least 2 metres uh, in, uh, in width and 2 metres in depth, so that it will have um, a good 60 centimetres um, on, uh, on either side. And, um, and hopefully about six feet to two meters tall. So a two by two by two makes it about an eight uh, cubic meter uh, pile. So I'm thinking about actually developing this with, um, with pallets, if I can actually get some, um, some pallets uh, cheap or, or even free, even better. So, um, and basically what's gonna happen is the water will come in at the bottom and it will run up through this in amongst the compost, heating the water hopefully, and then it'll come out this top pipe here and flow back into the um, back into the house. So hopefully this will work rather well, but uh, I guess time will tell. But it is a first step on the Jean Payne method of uh, of uh, heating water via compost.